hello everybody, hello, welcome. Welcome to a, a ride out on the um, canyon today. Hopefully you can hear us all right, because it's pretty windy going this way. And I've got the camera, as you probably already can see, on the chest. So hopefully it's the right angle this time. The last time I did this, the camera was pointing like down there somewhere at the road. So I'm hoping, hope you can see all right. And here is all right as well. I'm not going there too far today. So I haven't got a lot of time, I've got stuff to do, unfortunately, at home. But it's something you all shed out, get rid of it, take it to the tip. So, just a quick ride around there, usual routes really. That's how it goes. Nice day though, mine. Lovely. Really nice. Bit of a breeze. There's a slight chill in the breeze, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Busy roads, like, as you can see. The crew's saying 19 degrees, it's not 19 degrees. I think it's just because just gone to the house, hasn't settled itself down yet. This is the first, first small bank to go up today. It's not a bad hill, really. Quite short. It's not very steep either. I think it's about five, six percent, something like that. And we're coming into Hushimawa. So we're heading down to towards um, Durham now. Just heading in there. I was scared to Durham, not going to go right in the middle of Durham. Just kind of on the outskirts. Just skim past it, skim past it. Some friendly cyclists there. Nice to see. So, Head on there, which uh, a bear park bank. You know, I've this bank for years. It's a 8% gradient at the moment. It's not too bad. But so how many times I pedal up it? Never gets any easier. <laughs> so just going past Russia College here on the right. Maybe you can see just uh, in there. And they used to train their uh, priests there, Catholic priests. It's uh, closed down for that purpose now. We're thanking some more to do the university now. It's uh, part of the uh, Durham University. But yeah, it was uh, a priest school back in the day. And actually, when I was a kid, and I lived in the village just not far from me up there, uh, we used to come down here with the youth club. And use their swim pill, a good swim pill. It's really cool. More proud swim pill. So of course when our youth club youth, youth club turned up, there was only like about 10, 15 of us in the youth club. So we had the whole place ourselves. Brilliant. Hopefully it's not too windy for you down there because it's pretty yeah, uh, pretty breezy today. Blowing a bit of a gale. Doesn't look good, I know by the trees, but it is. It's supposed to be uh, rain showers this afternoon, so I'm trying to get out and back before it rains as well. That's the plan anyway. But you know, it's like best laid plans and all that. So these gloves, really nice. These beast gloves, really comfortable, really nice. Very impressed with them. Very impressed. Good fit. 
very smart. I love the yeah, uh, I love that reflective on it. It's fantastic, I think. So I'm just coming along the top towards Old Ash, Ash Village. So I'm just coming to do all this here. Ash village. Really old village this, really old. You can see the old church there, which I think I'll show you before on the left here. Um about 900 years old that. And when Edward Longshanks was fighting there uh, William Wallace, he stopped here. Um at the church there, had a service at the church and left some money for the church. So it'll be an interesting fact for you there. Another interesting fact that's made me miss used to go in here and nick apples from the orchard <laughs> when we were kids. I'm just gonna be heading down the bank to Quebec from Esh. So yeah, heading down the uh, Quebec bank here. Few potholes there and all. It used to be very bad at the bottom, actually, really bad rough potholes all over the place, but I reported it and um, they fixed it actually, they fixed it just there uh, last year it was. So this is called Wilkes Hill, as you can see there. It's not a bad hill, it's only like 6% gradient the worst. I'm at the top now. Right. There's a few friendly cyclists out there, which is nice to see. I often think this is a nice road. Very nice. Just a nice undulating road. Not always too busy, it's quite, quite a quiet road. But it's quite open though. Like today, I don't know if you can see across the side there, but it's, it's very, very open. So it gets pretty windy up here. There's a dog trying to get us. But uh, yeah, it's pretty open, so it's quite often pretty windy up here. Just like the felds, really, same thing. No shelter, so you just get blasted with the wind. But it's nice though, no complain. So 16 degrees of temperature staying. I mean, I'm climbing up a little bit here, but that's more like what, it, what I think it is today rather than 18s and 19s that we say when I first set off. I think the crew just hadn't, uh, hadn't uh, sorted itself out, you know, regulate itself. They're still giving us inside temperature. Hello everybody, hello and welcome. So we're filming with me chest camera again. Um, well, not all with chest camera because as you've all said, a bit of both. So hopefully get the angle right on my uh, road bike this time. Because I've tried this before. Uh, but last time, I had the uh, camera pointing down at the road. <laughs> so I'm hoping it's actually put in the right place this time when I do it. But uh, I'll do a bit of both, obviously, like I said. Or like you said, not all chest camera. Because that's boring. It's a bit of both. Ah, it's blowing a gale, folks, I tell you. Blowing a gale. Windy than I thought it was going to be. But I'm not going far today, I'm just uh, going down some of the local routes. Kind of looping around a bit. I'm on my usual rides. I haven't got a lot of time, I've got to get back. Um, and sort out my old shed. It's down now, like I've dismantled it. Now we've just got to dispose of it. I don't like this hill. Always oh, gives me the heebie jeebies because it's, um, as you can hear, it's pretty rough. There's gravel all over the place.
I mean, it's a gravel road, as you can hear how rough the bike is, but it's also a gravel left on the road as well, as you can see there. So you hit some of that, you can be off. There's another piece. Whoa. Yeah, so it's a bit, of a bit of a dodgy hill, that always feels a bit unsafe going down there. It's steep hill, it's about 15%, but it's just all the gravel all over the place. So I'm just heading up towards the fells and I'm going to come back across the fells um, the opposite way to the air because uh, the wind's going to be blowing that way behind us so I don't want to really pedal in a strong headwind today. No thank you. There's a castle up there, I don't know if you can see it. Just hovering there. How cool is that? We've been seeing the camera there, just hovering. So we're just heading up this hill here. It's about 15% uh, I think it's hill is at the steepest. I don't know if I've um, mentioned before, but I've started doing um, volunteering at the uh, vaccination centre. Yeah, um, I've done a couple of shifts now, about three shifts. It's good. It's good. It's worth doing. It's nice to be part of. You know, and it's amazing how well organised all this. It's like a well, well, well oiled machine. Pretty, very impressive. Very impressive. I'm just a tiny, small part of it. It's really good. Really good. And any anybody can volunteer. Um, I've been volunteering with the. I'm um, using an app called Good Sam's app. I'll put a link to it in the description here if you want to go and check it out. Um, you know, you're not tied to doing anything. You, it pops up and says, you know, if you want to volunteer, you can do. You can, you can do it. You can say, yeah, I'll go and do that. You can then change your mind and decline and say, I don't want to do it. Nobody's going to ask any questions. So it's worth doing. Definitely worth doing. But um, yeah, it's good. It's good to be part of it. It's good to help out. Um, and it's for a good cause, obviously. But, um, but yeah, check it out. It's good Sam's app, free. You know, you just download it, um, sign yourself up for it. And then, um, as I say, if you uh, want to do a shift at a, at a vaccination centre, you can do And there's other volunteer things you can do on there as well, but it's worth doing. It's worth doing. Um, as I say, I'll, uh, I'll put the link up in here for you so you can go and check it out. So we're just heading through Tell at the moment, and then we're gonna head back down across the fells. when you come down from high up temperature I've come down to the fells and the temperature's gone up by about two or three degrees there I know it does get cold obviously as you go higher but you I suppose you don't expect it it's just that it's just that difference really just a few miles up the road a little bit higher up and it's a lot cooler So 
go, I'm going round this road again. This is the second time I've gone along here. Heading back towards Durham again, and then I'm going to come back around again. So we'll put a little loop around. Not too far today, I think it's only going to be about 33 miles by the time I finish. I'm guessing about 36, something like that, 37 by the time I finish. I'm happy to get out, to be honest with you, because uh, I said it was going to rain later on today, so and the way the weather's been at the moment, it's raining all the time, so I'm very happy to get out at all. So, been around Durham, now we're heading back through um, Broome Park, back towards home. 32 miles so far. The woods are pretty busy, mine, very busy. They must have been giving away a free beer somewhere. But still a nice day. No rain. Lovely, absolutely lovely. A bit breezy. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. Well, it looks like it's going to rain, doesn't it? Looks like it could be right with the weather. It's been nice all day, but they did say showers later on. But I don't care. So I'm nearly home, folks. I'm nearly home. 37 miles till we get back home. It's just a little way up the road here. It's been good. I've enjoyed it. It's been a good ride. Still enjoyed it. A bit breezy, quite busy traffic, but it's been good. Oh, here comes the logging truck taking logs down close to our village and see a big truck here yeah some big trucks there coming through our village but there you go such as there forestry business eh? <laughs> anyway folks I'm gonna sign off now so take care of yourselves thanks for watching I'll see you all very soon take care see you later bye bye